we are being told that uh, this is the Ambedkar College in Delhi where there was a documentary screening that was on and there's been a power cut. We have that news coming in about a power cut that has taken place. These are the live visuals coming. We're trying to get more clarity. And uh, this is the Ambedkar College in the national capital. This, remember, is just after Hyderabad, which was one of the first universities to be screening it in Kerala, followed by the Jawaharlal Nehru University in Delhi and the Jamia Millia Islamia. And now even the Ambedkar College is where uh, there was a, a screening that was being done of uh, the restricted, uh, of a restriction that has been placed as an advisory by the government over India. The Modi question, this, uh, remember, has become a huge showdown. It's the left-wing groups primarily in universities. Amit Bhardwaj is tracking the latest on that. Uh, I want to understand, Amit, first that this is uh, the Ambedkar uh, College or Ambedkar University where this uh, screening is taking place. And uh, what exactly happened? A power cut by the administration. Well, Pooja, this is Ambedkar University where the entire drama has uh, started today. Uh, we know for a matter of fact as to what happened in Jawaharlal Nehru, Nehru University and Jamia Millia Islamia. Now a similar attempt of a screening BBC's controversial documentary was being done by uh, certain student organizations, uh, primarily the SFI at the Ambedkar University and right at the canteen area here. I'll request Deepak to give you a closer look of the campus. Uh, so there was an attempt to uh, carry on the screening of BBC's controversial documentary. However, you know, the power uh, cut, uh, there's a power cut in the university and the security guards on the campus are uh, stopping the students from uh, uh, carrying forward the screening of the BBC documentary. We also had a couple of SFI activists coming to the gate saying that uh, the power have been cut and they are not being allowed to carry on the screening, but they are also trying to make sure that the screening goes ahead with some alternative methods. So we also saw a certain SFI student activist coming on the gate showing us the QR code of, uh, uh, of this possible screening which might happen. So now that there's no big screen, no, because of the power cut, so what they are going to do is they are sharing a QR code so that the students can watch it on their mobile phone. So a similar method that was used in Jawaharlal Nehru University is being uh, used right here by the students, uh, primarily by the SFI activists. Along with that, Pooja, there was, uh, there's also a protest that is being organized by All India Students Association, okay. another left-leaning organization, against whatever happened in Jamia and JNU. Back to you, Pooja. All right, Amit Bhardwaj getting us this latest round report from the Medkar University in Delhi. This is where, as you can see, some of the visuals are trickling in. There have been another screening organized primarily by the left-wing groups. But remember, it's already circulating on mobile phones, on, on social media. So a bigger question that did the restriction really help at all? It's turning into a full-blown political showdown. And it's in the universities where the left groups specifically are leading it. All right, so these are the visuals coming in from inside the university. We can see some of the senior administration officials, the guards. So they are not allowing, as an administration, an official screening of the film. Uh, but uh, some of the left groups, the SFI here, just like in Jadapur University in Bengal uh, and in other universities as well, are organizing the scre screening. We can see the students uh, standing there. We're being told that because there's not an official screening, they are distributing links. Uh, on WhatsApp, on mobile phone for people to watch it. Let's just listen to what one student is saying. So I'll uh, quickly bring in Amit Bhardwaj for the latest on that. Amit, we see a fair group of uh, number of students who are sitting under deployment of the security too. Uh, but has there been any scuffle for now? Has it been a peaceful screening that the students have managed to organize at the Ambedkar University? What, what are you picking up on the details? Well, Pooja, because, uh, you know, there are uh, one political ideology students who were organizing this particular screening at uh, Ambedkar University. So there's no scuffle per se. 
But yes, the college, uh, university administration has made it clear that they are not going to allow or give any permission of any such screening on the university campus. And this uh, tight security arrangement right outside the university campus to ensure that the law and order situation is maintained. But there is uh, no scuffle per se between any student organizations. But uh, as we saw in JNU, uh, you know, uh, after the power was cut, uh, 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 alternative methods were used like QR codes being distributed among students so that they can watch this uh, documentary on their mobile phones. Similar attempt is being made out at Ambedkar University. So clearly these restrictions which have been put by the uh, government are not working out. Uh, students and activists are finding out uh, you know, alternative methods, creative methods to make sure that they can go ahead with screening. But on the other side, Pooja, the uh, you know, chances of scuffle is something which is looming large on Delhi University because there's an, another announcement by Ambedkarite and left-leaning uh, student organizations that they are going to carry out a screening at around 4 in the evening at Delhi University's arts faculty and that is a campus where you have a solid a stronghold of AVVP which is the RSS's uh, student wing. So in, in, in that scenario uh, there could be a possibility where uh, two different uh, uh, political ideologies students yes. might clash. So that is why the security has been tightened in Delhi University as well. But as far as Ambedkar University is concerned the administration is not allowing any hmm. such screening inside the campus. Amit, uh, this Pooja. has primarily become a left and a right issue as well, a confrontation between two ideological groups. Uh, others are, you know, either joining in or not willing to be a part of this. Can you tell us what is happening across the country? What are you picking up? You've already been reporting from the JNU and Jamia. Do tell us, at least in Delhi, how are universities leading the screening in different ways, alternate ways, about this uh, film that's otherwise found an advisory restriction from the government? Well, Pooja, you know, uh, this, the, the government restrictions are very much there, which means that no university campus or the administration okay. of the campus would allow an official screening of uh, the BBC documentary, which means that uh, student organizations which want to conduct the, uh, uh, the documentary screening need to do it without permission again. There will be a, a, a force which will be used, force in the sense that security guards might be deployed, the classrooms yes. will not be allowed, auditoriums will not be allowed, which usually happens in such screening. And that is what is happening even in Ambedkar University. I'll ask uh, Deepak to come closer to the campus uh, area at, uh, to, to get a sense as to how students are still waiting for the screening to resume. And they are not willing to, you know, vacate the area until unless the screening goes ahead or it completely gets hmm. cancelled. And we had seen similar situation happening in Jawaharlal Nehru University as well as Jamia Milia Islamia. In JNU you had uh, the left-leaning organizations such as ISA and SFI trying to organize uh, the uh, screening of the BBC documentary. The power was cut, security arrangements were tightened and after that QR codes were distributed yes. amongst the students so that they can go ahead with uh, watching the screening on their mobile phones. In Jamia, there was much more restriction where you had university administration saying complete no to the screening. Yes. Uh, SFI and fraternity movement uh, students trying to go ahead with the screening. And after that, uh, tight security arrangements outside the university campus from where students were picked up. So, so has, has the restriction larger, basically, uh, you know, generated or exploded into another level of controversy? Many may have just ignored this docu-series uh, because there's already so much being constantly discussed and debated over uh, 2000 and even now on the Prime Minister. So, you know, has the restriction only added to the big showdown? Amit Bhardwaj with the latest coming in from the National Capital Delhi. That's the Ambedkar University you're looking at. Many more universities and specifically the left-wing groups are sending out links. Screenings in many ways already are on. So the question is, why restrict it in the first place too in times like today?